why anybody on Zimmerman's team would have signed off on allowing a woman to handle a case of such magnitude when they are emotional and they're going to side with the woman in this case I don't understand why anybody would ever think that all women deciding a case that has a lot of emotion to it would make better judges of facts and disseminating through it than men would that's another reason why I dropped the last video and I said that they are cut swimming in an ocean full of sharks that are after him for whatever at this time Mr. Brenda Fulton will address you and then Mr. Tracy Martin I'm here today as Trayvon Martin's mother um, as I have been every day I will be attending this court now she has the right to be there but one of the main reasons why they have her here is to remind those female jurors every day not to let the woman down don't ever connect her to deceit don't ever connect her to any type of lies don't ever look at her and see that she was dishonest and disingenuous to you in any way you must never let her down and you must also realize that since Barack Obama made the comment and said that if he had a son he looked like Trayvon what he's already done is he's planted the idea into the minds of women that if you vote against what we've already said to you is second degree murder then you're actually going against your president that's the dynamic that's going on in this case and most people are failing to realize it and uh, to try to get justice for my son to try to get justice for my son your son has already received justice Sabrina Fulton he was breaking the law he was doing something that he had no business doing had he stopped beating up George Zimmerman he'd be alive today because the cops were on their way because the cops had been called on him George Zimmerman called the cops on him and four or five other people in that apartment complex called the cops on him because he was beating George Zimmerman up he had George Zimmerman screaming like a little girl how sh have you no shame you've done this to this man and you know that your son had violent problems you know he hit a bus driver that's why he had the 10-day suspension you know he had fights you know that they tried to Baker Act him a couple of times to save from arresting him that's what you didn't want people to find out how dare you the nerve of some people to be so dishonest I can't stand it I ask that you pray for me and my family we're gonna pray for you because you've told a humongous lie when you said that that was your son screaming when Tracy right here said nope that's not his son screaming and like Don West brought up today he didn't ask one time to listen to the tape again it was only this liar who brought up the idea and notion that oh you know he he didn't hear it that well it was kind of foggy I, you know I don't know I, I don't I, he couldn't hear it all that good it was it was I couldn't hear it see that was the lie see the man is attempting to do what's right and tell the truth and say yeah that's not my son but the liar here the liar here and they got him lying too they're all bent on this lie of trying to portray Trayvon Martin as this innocent little kid 12 year old kid who did no wrong it was no fault of his own that he got shot it was all George Zimmerman George Zimmerman pro profiled him and he profiled every single person but they won't bring up the fact that he had looked at other people and he didn't want to approach them let's go because I don't 
want any other mother to have to experience what I'm going through now. Well, what are you going through? He wasn't living with you when he was shot and killed. He wasn't living with Tracy Martin either. You guys had, you know, been fed up with him acting out and being violent at school. So because his father wasn't in the home to give him the discipline that he really needed, it, which is a, a good belt crossed the behind, you're going through what you're going through because you didn't get to keep your son in check. You didn't have an a, a, a eye on him. He was on a 10-day suspension walking to the store in the dark. That is a clear indication right there that this child was not being supervised properly. Why he supposedly was out to dinner with his girlfriend and you were, we don't even know where you were. Obviously you were back in Miami. So this kid was totally on his own. As it appeared to be, he was on his own for quite a while doing whatever. Let's go. I want to say I was totally taken aback today when Mark O'Mara pulled that out of his back pocket. I did not, ex I didn't see that coming. But uh, I don't think it was that relevant. You know, uh, obviously, they're not going to allow the parents of George Zimmerman to be in until they're uh, asked to testify, but they could be in the court. You know, uh, obviously, there's some type of, there's something on the books that, um, that makes it that way i didn't make it that way i you know i didn't even know it was like that so that was a shocker to me that he uh he was doing that but it it it, it threw a few things in the fire and uh uh but let me let let me let him talk okay let's 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 hear from mr martin as the court proceedings uh continue today um we as a I, want you, I just want to stop for a second. Notice the, notice the expression of this lady. Notice the expression of this lady and notice the expression of this lady. Now, for, to the untrained, they just look to be a little bit somber. But to someone like myself, I can clearly look at, I can look at a person's face and their body language and I can tell that they don't buy into what is going on. They're only supporting them because they're family. You know, the type of deal where, you know, hey, your family's wrong, but you're still taking up for them because you just got to do it. You got to keep the code. And that's what I sense out of the body language and the facial expressions of everybody involved. OK, and I can say this, OK, because I'm black. All right. So I don't have to worry about people saying, oh, you're prejudiced or whatever. OK, I can look at facts and tell you exactly what's going on. But let's listen to him and what he has to say. OK. Trayvon left us with as we enter the courtroom today and seeking justice for our son we hold on to his smile which strengthens us and we ask that you all continue to pray for us thank you we're going to have to pray for you because we know that you have been dishonest okay which is why you didn't want to turn over the information out of that cell phone which is going to explain a few other things but we're going to pray for you and uh, we're going to see how this trial turns out, but um, I'm sticking to my guns, and I'm seeing that this is going to be a wild ride, and I don't see how females are going to be able to process information analytically and return the verdict that they're supposed to return. Also, keep in mind of this one thing here, that um, Sabrina Fulton lied, Natalie Jackson lied, Angela Corey lied, George Zimmerman's wife lied and we also have a situation where um, you're going to have six women and a female judge decide the case whenever a woman tells a story it's always believable to other women I just like to put that in your pipe and let you smoke that all night long just put that in there Throw a little flame on it and just smoke that. Thank you. 